right, so we're going to do a pod review on those little red babies right there. And that is called the Trinidad Scorpion. Yes, that is the true version of the Trinidad Scorpion. This is the original red. This is the original version of the Trinidad Scorpion that I had collected seed for as far back, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I got these seeds all the way during the either late 90s or early 2000s, somewhere in there. And that's how long I had been growing this particular variety of pepper on and off throughout the years. I first bought this variety when it first started becoming uh, newsworthy and it started showing up on the internet and showing up on television. World's hottest pepper, hottest pepper. It beat the boots Loki and all that. So I went and got seeds and I've been growing it ever since. These are the original seeds. So this is the true pheno of a Trinidad Scorpion, guys. This is the real deal right here. This is not no marugas and what people are calling Marugas is not this. Maruga came out because of somebody in Trinidad improved the heat and version of the original true form of Trinidad Scorpion. And it was done in, I believe, the town of Maruga in Trinidad. And so it, and it got the name of Maruga Scorpion Pepper. And everybody on the internet is saying, Marugas are scorpions, the same exact pepper. No, they're not the same exact pepper. Please, you can't keep muttering up the water with lies because they're not the same thing. This is the true version of what a Trinidad scorpion should look like. All right, we're going to pick a couple of these. All right, this is the true version, guys. This is not no watered-down Maruga stuff. Now, Marugas are going to be much hotter than the scorpions because they were improved to be hotter. That's why it got the name Maruga. It was a distinction between the original Trinidad Scorpion and the modified Trinidad Scorpion inherited that name Maruga. So you gotta understand there is a difference. It's, you're losing your heritage. You're, the peppers, the people in the pepper forms and out in the pepper world are destroying the industry by saying marugas or scorpions are the same thing. You're ruining the pepper industry by saying that because that's a lie. They're two different peppers. This is the original version. This is what's been growing on Trinidad for hundreds of years probably. Okay? This is the original version. There are so many false versions and convoluted versions out there that were you're no longer going to be able to get seed for the original version anymore except for some of the companies that are still offering it and may not even know that they're offering you the original true version of the Trinidad Scorpion. Let me just see, I'll pick a couple more off here. Here's a classic shape. This is the typical pheno that you see a lot of tr Trinidad Scorpions. This is the traditional classic scorpion shape right here. They called it, the reason why they called it a scorpion is because it has this tail that comes out over here. Like a reaper, they get this tail that comes out and it forms the tail of a scorpion. That's why it got its name as scorpion. Okay, that is why. Marugas do not do that. Marugas have a blunt nose on the bottom. They don't make these tails. Okay, this is the original, guys. It is the original. And I know the trolls are going to come in and say, Dug, 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 I hate hearing that, guys. I really do. But that's it. That's the original. This is from the true ascent from the original seed I bought all the way back in the early 2000s from when it, before Marugas were even out, if I'm not mistaken. I was basically growing these way before then. And here we are with the original true Trinidad Scorpion Red. Now, I just want to give you a better look at the Trinidad Scorpions, the real, the originals, guys. These are absolutely firing hot. These will hurt you in every way, shape, and form. And these are very, very hot, but the Marugas are hotter because they were designed to be hotter. It was an improved version of the Trinidad Scorpion pepper that you're looking at here. So, just want to give you some better angles of them. Put these down. Here we go. That's the classic version right there, guys. That is it. And they really don't get too much bigger than what you see here. 
The true version doesn't. Yeah, you can, you might grow these out and get one pod that might double in size, and but the general size of the original Trinidad Scorpion should look just like this. And that plant out there, I think, is a two or three year old plant. All right, so that's it. Let's turn you around and give it a go. All right, guys, here we are. We're doing another pod review today on the nasty, nasty little Trinidad Scorpion Original Red. This is the original true version of the Trinidad Scorpion. A lot of people are calling this particular pepper a Maruga, and it is not a Maruga. And I'm going to tell you really quick what it is. I think I explained it earlier in the video, but I will run through it really quick now. The Maruga was an improved version of the Trinidad Scorpion, which is this pepper right here, the original pepper, and then the Maruga was born. That took place in, I believe, the town or provenance of Maruga, Trinidad. That's where that actually got its name from. This is the true version of the Trinidad Scorpion. It's the original version, and that's what we're reviewing today. Okay, so just wanted to clear that air. So here it is. That is a true pheno for a Trinidad Scorpion pepper. That's it right there, guys. Now, it's not fully red. It's going to be tangy because it's orange. It's going from a green stage to a red stage. And in between that stage, when the starches are converting over to sugars, it tends to go through a tangy process, which may, puts a lot of people off if they eat them that way. You're better off waiting until they get nice and red. I got to get the peppers off these plants, and I got to get these re reviews finished relatively very soon because it's getting close to being frosty, and today happened to be a nice day, and I figured I'd finish up my pod reviews today, and we're going to end our day with this nasty little guy right here. So without any further ado, let's give it a go. Wow, right into the sinuses. Oh. Wow, that thing was nasty, guys. The, the, I bit into it, and like the gas on the inside, when it mix with, when it mixes with your when it mixes with your sal saliva, it forms a gas, and that gas went right up in my nose. I started sneezing. I cut that part out. Heat's gonna kick in any minute, and this thing is hot. I can tell you that right now. This thing is red hot, man. Whew. Wow, that's killer right now. Well, the flavor is typical scorpion flavor. It has that, it generally has that uh, scorpion type of um, fruitiness to it, which is nice. But it was a very tangy because it's through that transition period, and that's usually not that nice, especially with these type of peppers. Wow, my mouth is filling up with water. As far as the heat goes on this thing, the heat is typical scorpion heat. It's extremely painful. <clears throat> it's ver it's, I chewed it mostly on this side of my mouth. This side of my mouth is absolutely burning. It's very painful right now. My eyes are watering. <clears throat> Whew, just trying to get through this burn is rough, guys. Wow. That is tough, man. Ooh, boy. That is painful, boy. Now, this is the original true version of the Scorpion. These, in my opinion, are hotter in some cases than the Marugas. This particular one <coughs> that I just ate is extremely hot. <clears throat> it's got my mouth watering like crazy. It is absolutely stinging the side of my tongue where I bit it and chewed it. Holy moly. The gums are burning so bad they're actually pounding. Wow, look at my eyes, guys. I'm actually watering from that thing. Now, I did swallow some of it. Whew. But I had to spit most of it out. That tangy flavor is going to make me puke. If it were fully red, I probably would have swallowed the whole piece. Man, that was hot, guys. Wow. If I was to put a Scoville number on this one, 
definitely, definitely, definitely a million plus. Definitely. My eyes don't normally water like this from super hot. This one's got me watering. It's burning in my neck a little bit. I drank a full glass of cream before I did this video. Wow, that was hot. I didn't expect it to be is that hot. I've eaten scorpions in the past. They were I mean this thing was hotter than my my black uh my black bootla. This thing was absolutely hot. This is up there getting close to reaper type heat here. Oh man. Oh. Who? No no head rushes. A little bit lightheaded, but no head rushes. It's burning everything. The side of my mouth where I chewed it is absolutely hurting. God, the pain on that is absolutely cooking. That is very painful. Man, those are some of the hottest scorpions I ever grew. I grew scorpions before. I never had them that hot before. Man, that thing was whew, starting to come down a little bit on the heat. Wow, that was rough, man. I started to get a little bit of a gaggy feeling right here. Not necessarily nauseous, like I want to puke. Just I want, ah, I want to do that. Even if I don't puke, I just want to do that feeling. It feels good to gag like that when you when you eat these nasty things. Whew. That was hot, guys. That was one of the hottest peppers I think I've eaten almost this year, man. It's not as bad as the uh, the Dragon's Breath or the uh, Hellfire Chili or even the Hellraiser. Though all three of those were really, really hot. But this was definitely close to the... Maybe this was hotter than the Hellraiser. I don't remember. This was very, very hot. This was hotter than all the other peppers I, I did. The uh, Black Boots and all of that. Those are nothing. This thing was absolutely ferocious, man. Wow, that's the power of a true, true version of a Trinidad Scorpion. That right there was what you should get off a Trinidad Scorpion. That's the true version. Man, that thing was rough, boy. I didn't take a breath on that. Whew. Wow, that was painful. I saved that for last. I just did about eight pod reviews today and I saved that one for last because I wasn't sure how hot that one was going to be that one was a good good move because I'm done with pod reviews for today after that that thing really shook me up that thing was kick butt hot I'll be honest with you the heat from that was probably hotter than my butch tea to be honest with you here's my butch teas <laughs> You can see I got all kinds of butch teas right here. Man, those scorpions were, whew, they were concentrated. Don't you see how small that pod was? Don't let that kid you. Those small pods will concentrate that heat even more. That's a big pod, so you're taking less material. The heat spreads itself out on those pods. The bigger the pod gets, the more the heat's going to spread itself out on that pod. So let's say it produces one cc of, of capsaicin. On a big pod, it's going to spread that 1cc out more. With a little pod, it's concentrated. So if you eat that whole pepper, you're getting a full load of it like I just did. Boy, that was punishing. Whew. Haven't felt that in a while. But it really, really pounded the side of my tongue over here where I chewed it really bad. Really, really, really bad. That was very close to getting up near that reaper type he even the how far chili's getting up into that area of range it was up there this thing was well over a million this had to have been like a million something this particular pepper here that was way high wow it had my eyes watering guys that had to have been hot to do that but anyway um i think i covered the flavor it has again the flavor has a typical uh scorpion type of fruitiness very common with this pepper it was very pronounced, though this particular pepper had a very tangy effect to it. And again, that's because I picked it between the green and the red stage. You really want to eat them either green or eat them red. Picking them in between, you're going to get that tangy flavor. That's not going to be too pleasant. 
it's going to be off-putting with peppers that are this hot. It could make you give you the gag reflex. So just keep that in mind when you're eating these peppers. So that way till they ripen up. Sometimes that, that tanginess stays with them even when they're fully ripe. So just keep that in mind. All right, so that's it. That was your pod review for the Trinidad Scorpion Original Red. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you.